Example three, Maureen is a manager at a local Chicken King restaurant. Her regular hourly wage is $15.70. If she regularly works 40 hours per week, what is her regular weekly pay? She works all 40 weeks, so number of hours worked. If I know how many hours she worked, and I multiply that by how much she got paid, what her hourly rate is, this would tell me what her regular weekly pay was. So if I knew how many hours she worked and how much she got paid for each of those hours, I would know what she got paid for the week. So how many hours did she work? She worked 40 hours. And what was her hourly rate? Her rate is $15.70. That is her weekly regularly pay. So on our calculator, we're going to do 40 times 1570 and 40 times 1570 on my calculator gives me 628. So what does that mean? That means my answer is $628 and zero cents. I need the dollars and zero cents. And this is my answer to what? It asked her weekly pay. So let's go ahead and check for understanding. Roger is going to work H hours and he's gonna earn D dollars for every single one of those hours. So we've had the same equation. What is his salary algebraically? It's asking us what is his annual salary, which means I want the full year. So if I knew his weekly rate, I want to know what he would get because there's 52 weeks in a year. If I could find his weekly rate, I could multiply it by 52 and find out the entire year rate. So my annual salary says to find the weekly rate, which is the number of hours worked, multiplied by the hourly rate. This right here is his weekly pay. If I were to multiply this then by 52 weeks, I would find out how much he got paid for an entire year. So the number of hours worked. It says that he worked H hours. So he worked H hours. Well, this is hourly rate. I knew that he made D dollars per hour. And I want to know if I got that for every single one of the 52 weeks, how much would I have earned? So I have H being multiplied to D being multiplied to 52. So H times D is DH because it's alphabetical. And then times 52 gives me 52 DH. So what's his final answer? It's 52 DH. And what does that mean? That means that is his annual salary. Example four. If Maureen from example three works overtime, she receives an hourly rate of one and a half times her regular hour rate. So she gets overtime at one and a half times and wants to know what is Maureen's hourly overtime rate. So we need to figure out if you got her hourly rate, how much she normally gets paid, and it says she gets paid one and a half times more, so this is going to be multiplied by her overtime rate. This will tell us what her over hourly overtime rate is. So if I knew how much she normally got paid, and I multiplied it by her overtime rate, I'll know how much is actually per hour of overtime. So her hourly rate is normally $15.70. We got that from example three. Her overtime rate says she gets paid at one and a half times more. And this will end up being her hourly rate. So 15.70 times 1.5 on my calculator gives me 23.55. So what does that mean? That means she gets $23.55, and that is her hourly overtime rate. So for every hour that she works overtime, she makes $23.55, not the original $15.70. Let's go ahead and check for understanding. If Marianne earns Y dollars for her regular hourly rate, express her hourly overtime rate if she is paid time and a half. So time and a half is the same thing as one and a half, which is 1.5. So this is time, one full time, 
and a half of it. So I know that she earns Y dollars normally. If it's overtime, you gotta multiply it by 1.5. So her hourly overtime rate, we're gonna figure out how much money she makes per hour in overtime by taking her original hourly rate and multiplying it by her overtime rate. So how much does she make in overtime each hour? Her hourly rate was Y dollars, and she got paid 1.5 more than that for every hour of overtime. So what's Y dollars times 1.5? It's 1.5 Y. This is our final answer, and what is this? This is her hourly overtime rate. This is how much she gets paid per hour of overtime. Example five, Janice earns $16 per hour. If her regular hours are 40 hours per week and she receives, it says time and a half for overtime. So her overtime rate is going to be 1.5 more. It says to find her total pay for a week if she worked 45 hours. So she only gets 40 hours at the regular rate and then she works five more hours at the overtime rate because she worked 45 hours total. Only 40 of them can be regular. Everything over the 40 is considered overtime. So every single one of these 40 hours earned her $16. But now I need to figure out every single one of these five overtime hours earned her 1.5 more than the $16 per hour original rate. So this will be how much she actually got paid this week. So what is this? That is 40 multiplied by 16 plus the five hours of overtime multiplied by the 1.5 rate for overtime for her original $16 per hour. So 40 times 16 is 640. Five times 1.5 times 16 gives me 120. So the answer is 760. But what does this mean? That means I have $760 as my final answer, and that is how much you got for working her 45 hours. Well, let's check your understanding. Ron regularly works 40 hours per week at a rate of X dollars per hour. So every single one of these 40 hours will earn him X dollars. Last week he worked Y hours in overtime and he got paid time and a half for all of those Y hours. What is time and a half? Time and a half is 1.5. It says to express his total weekly salary. So I wanna know how much did he make this week? So his weekly salary. He has first his 40 hours worked at the normal rate of X dollars per hour, but that was only his 40. You need to add his overtime hours. He worked Y overtime hours, but his overtime gets 1.5% more than the original X dollars per hour. So what is his weekly salary? We have 40 being multiplied to the X, added to our Y being multiplied to the 1.5 multiplied to the X. So I have 40 times X is a 40 X added to Y times 1.5 times X is a 1.5 X Y because it's alphabetical X comes before Y. And this is our final answer. But what is this? This is his weekly salary. This is how much he got paid after the one week work. Example six. Samantha is a waitress, and she worked 40 hours of regular work last week, and she did seven overtime hours at time and a half. So time and a half is 1.5. It's asking what was her hourly rate? She had a gross pay of $611.05. Gross pay said that that's what was on her paycheck. So let's figure out her gross pay. How much should she have earned? So Samantha worked 40 hours, so she had 40 regular hours, and every single one of those regular hours, she earned X dollars per hour, because we weren't told, that's what it's asking us. And then you have to add, she worked seven overtime hours, and you have to multiply that by the overtime rate, and that was of the original X dollar rate. 
So what do we have? We have her gross pay. It said her gross pay was $611.05. She did 40 times X to get just for the 40 regular hours. Now we're gonna add, we have a seven being multiplied to a 1.5 being multiplied to an X. So I have $611.05 equals 40 times X is a 40 X plus seven times 1.5 is 10.5, and don't forget that was multiplied to an x. We have to solve for x. So I see I have two x's on the same side of the equation. They're separated, they need to be combined. So this is 611 and five cents. 40 x's plus 10.5 x's gives me 50.5 x's. I need the x by itself. Since the 50.5 is connected by multiplication, you undo multiplication by dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 50.5. On my calculator, 611.05 divided by 50.5 gives me 12.1. 50.5 divided by 50.5 gives me 1, so I'm just left with 1x. So this is my answer, but what does this mean? This means that I have $12.10 as my answer for what is her hourly rate. So for every hour worked, regular, she makes $12.10. Let's check your understanding. Jillian worked 40 hours last week and then two overtime hours. It says that she got double the rate, which is not time and a half anymore. That means she got twice the rate. Her gross pay was $484. What was her hourly? So if I wanted to figure out what her gross pay was, we would have taken the number of hours worked, how much she got paid per hour, and you would add that to her overtime hours being multiplied to the overtime rate. And that overtime rate had to be multiplied to her rate per hour. So what was her gross pay? Her gross pay was $484.00. How many hours did she actually work? She worked 40 regular hours. What was the rate that she earned for every one of those hours? We don't know, because that's what it's asking. So we're gonna say she made X dollars for every 40 hours. We're gonna add that to, how many hours did she work overtime? It says she worked two hours of overtime. What was her overtime rate? It says she got double time pay, which means we multiply her pay by two. And what was her hourly rate? We don't know, it was X. So I've got $484 equaling 40 times X. Two times two is four times X is a four X. I need to combine like terms. So I have $484 and zero cents equaling 44 X. I need the X by itself because it's connected by multiplication. We're gonna divide both sides by the number that was connected. $484.00 divided by 44 gives me an 11. 44 divided by 44 gives me the 1x. So my answer is 11. It asks what her hourly rate was. So my answer is $11.00. You need the dollars in the cents there. And what was that? That was her hourly rate. That means that she gets paid $11 per hour for working normal 40 hours a week. Example 7. Last week, Saul worked R hours of regular hours and T overtime hours. And her overtime and his overtime hours are time and a half, which means that his overtime is 1.5 more than his regular. He earned $700. That M is not there. He earned $700. If X represents his hourly rate, it says to express X in terms of R and T. It Express X means solve for X. So I wanted X equals answer. So let's first figure this out. So his gross pay is going to be his regular hours multiplied by the rate per hour that he gets. I'm gonna add that to his overtime hours. That gets multiplied to his overtime rate and that gets multiplied to his normal rate per hour. So what was his gross pay? His gross pay was $700. He got that by working a normal R amount of hours. By earning, it says to let X represent his hourly rate, by earning X dollars for every one of those R hours. Now we have to add, how much overtime did he work? 
He worked T overtime hours. It said that his overtime rate was 1.5, and it said that he worked and earned X for regular hours. So I've got $700 equaling R times X is an RX because it's alphabetical. R comes before X in the alphabet. T times 1.5 times X is a 1.5 TX. Now it said to express X in terms of R and T. That means solve for X. So we need to solve for X. I see that there's an X in each. I cannot combine like terms because the RX is not the same as a TX. So you cannot combine these like terms. But I see they each have an X in common. So we're going to factor this X out of each part on this side. So I had $700 equaling they each have an X. So I'm going to divide that X out of everybody. If that X went away, I had the R left. If this X went away, I had the plus 1.5 T left. So I took an X out of each of these. It came out here to say, hey, you each had one. What's left in the parentheses is what was left behind when we took it away. I'm supposed to solve for X. X is right here. It's being multiplied to this entire parentheses. So we need to divide both sides by that entire parentheses so the X could be by itself. If you have the entire parentheses divided by the entire parentheses, those parentheses want each other out. So I just have X being the $700 divided by the R plus 1.5T. We expressed X, his hourly rate, in terms of everything else involved in the problem. So this right here is his hourly rate. So now let's check your understanding. Jonathan worked H hours of regular work and he earned R dollars for each of those H hours. He worked overtime. It said he worked W hours of overtime, but it says he gets double the rate during overtime, which means we have to multiply by two to find his rate. It says express his total pay for the week algebraically, meaning the variables are going to stay. So if I know, so let's do his total pay. This is what I want, I want his total pay. I get his total pay by taking how many hours he worked, he worked H hours, multiplying that by how much he gets paid per hour. He got paid R dollars per hour. That tells me how much for his non-overtime. Now I need to add his overtime. How many hours did he work overtime? He worked double, he worked W hours of overtime. We have to multiply that by his overtime rate, which was two, and that gets multiplied by how much he actually got paid per hour, which was R dollars. So his total pay is H multiplied to R plus his W multiplied to the two multiplied to the R. So H times R is an HR, because alphabetically H comes before R, plus W times two times R is a two RW. So this is my final answer, but what is an answer to? This is an answer to his total pay for the week.